Two months ago, my 13-year-old daughter was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. And in those two months uh, since then, we've spent a lot of time learning about diabetes and learning how to manage it. And we've discovered that there are many things available that can help manage diabetes. Um, there are continuous glucose monitors. There are insulin pumps. Uh, there's also open source systems out there that bridge the gap and close uh, the loop between the continuous glucose monitors and insulin pumps. And they're all very amazing and very helpful. And uh, we're looking to uh, get a lot of those things for my daughter. Um, and there's a lot of apps out there that can help um, as well. The One of the things that's most difficult when it comes to managing diabetes is the fact that um, all of these solutions, uh, as helpful and powerful as they are, they still require the diabetic to manually calculate their carbohydrate consumption in order to calculate their diabetes, uh, in order to calculate their insulin unit uh, dosages. And uh, that's something that's very personalized for every diabetic, uh, depending on the time of day, the meal being eaten, uh, bedtime. All of these times uh, can lead to a different formula being used to calculate the insulin dosage. But they all require the user, the diabetic, to calculate the carbohydrates that they're about to consume. So that was the problem that I wanted to solve and, and make easier and, um, and help with. So I've created this application, and I call it Insul Insulin Helper. And I'd like to show you how it works. So the first thing you do is launch the application. And once the application is launched, we'll select our username and log in. And once we log in, we'll get a list of all the formulas that we've created. So uh, as I said, you can create different formulas for different times of day, different meals. Uh, snacks sometimes don't require that your uh, blood glucose level be covered. So you can accommodate all of those different scenarios. And you can capture the food that you're going to eat either using a picture or using your voice. So let's select a formula, let's choose test, and let's say we're going to use a picture. So what we want to do here is uh, we want to take a picture of the food we're going to eat. So simple as that. So we click the camera button, we take a picture of our apple, and we upload that picture. So the picture is being uploaded, and now we can weigh our portion. So in this case we have a Bluetooth scale here, and we can pair that to our application. So if we click the scale button, it's going to go ahead and scan for any Bluetooth devices that are available to pair. And so we make sure that that scale is in pairing mode. And it shows up. And we pair to it. And now that we're paired, we can weigh our portions. So we're going to take our apple, put it on the scale, and you can see in real time the application is weighing our food. So in this case, we have 174 grams. If we had a plate or some, something else on the scale, we could tear that out before we weighed it. But in this case, we're just going to go with it. So we're going to confirm that. And the application, what it did was, it took that picture and it tried to do some image recognition on that picture. In this case, it identified an apple, which is spot on. That's exactly what we're eating. So we confirm that. And it says, which one of these best describes Apple? So what we've done here is we've gone out to the USDA and we've searched for the keyword Apple and we get a list of all the different foods that match Apple. So we're going to say Apple raw. And good, we've added that food to our meal. Everything is uh, ready to calculate based on that. But it says, would you like to add another food to this meal? Because obviously uh, we're usually eating more than one food during our meals. So we'll say yes, we want to add another one. So we're going to take another picture. In this case, it's going to be a little more difficult, right? Uh, an apple is pretty easy to identify. But what about some Scooby Snacks? So if we take a picture of that, and we upload that, that's going to be uh, something that the application goes and tries to identify what text it can find inside of that picture. So we're going to weigh that. We have 31 grams. Uh, it's a 28 gram uh, container, so we would probably take this out of the container and weigh it directly 
uh, on the scale if we wanted to be really accurate, but 31 grams is close enough, so we'll go with that. And now it's going to say which one of these best describes your food. And the first option that we have here is Keebler Scooby-Doo Graham Cracker Stick Cinnamon. And that is uh, exactly what we're eating. So we'll confirm that. And it says, do you want to add another food to this meal? Sure, why not? Because we're probably eating lunch. So we have our apple, we have our graham cracker sticks. Uh, but what about a sandwich? A sandwich is going to be really hard to identify uh, by taking a picture because, I mean, there could be anything within that sandwich, right? Uh, and to be able to identify that would be probably really difficult. So we're going to just go ahead and tell it what we're eating. So we click use voice and we can click on the microphone and say peanut butter sandwich. And I'm going to reset that because we don't want to say and say. Peanut butter sandwich. All right, so it took my speech and it identified what I said, peanut butter sandwich. So we can confirm that. Now let's weigh our sandwich. So it looks like our sandwich is 92 grams. So we'll confirm that. And it says, which one of these best describes your food? So our first choice there, peanut butter sandwich. So now that we're done, we've entered all of our different foods for our meal, we would say, no, we don't want to add any more. At this point, we can check our blood sugar. So I have this Contour Next One uh, glucose monitor that I've used myself. And if I turn that on and hold the button down, it will go into Bluetooth pairing mode. So you can see the blue light flashing there. And once it's in that pairing mode, we can pair it with the application. So we click the scale, the uh, meter and choose our meter. And it's going to read our last glucose reading. So this say, in this case, it says your current blood sugar is 101 milligrams per deciliter. And that was as of that date. Get a green smiley because that's within our target range. And now we can come to our summary. So uh, at this point, we have, based on our formula, it says since our blood glucose is currently 101, we'll need 2.04 units of insulin, and that's our coverage dose. Uh, that is our uh, dose based on our blood sugar. And uh, then it breaks down all the different foods that we're eating. So we have an apple, 174 grams. Within that 174 grams is 24 grams of carb, which calculates out to 2.01 insulin units based on my formula. The Scooby-Doo snacks have 23.40 grams of carbs, which is another 1.95 insulin units. And that peanut butter sandwich is 38 grams of carbs. So our total insulin dosage based on the inputs that we've provided and the formula that we've previously set up is 9.17 insulin units. So we can save that by clicking the check mark. And in the next point, we get a prediction based on all of our previous inputs that we've put into the system. Some machine learning is applied, and it says that based on the data you provided, your next glucose reading is predicted to be 106, which is pretty good. Um, but it gives us the ability to kind of maybe show some danger spots that might be coming up soon. Uh, maybe you're uh, eating too many carbs at this meal, uh, so on and so forth. So at that point, we can just confirm that. And we're all done. So that's the insulin helper application uh, created to make life a little easier when calculating uh, 